Alexa, play stars from Cole Swindell. Stars by Cole Swindell from Spotify. There you go. We're going to set that up in this video. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to show you how to take your Amazon Alexa smart home system, connect it with Spotify so you can use it to play your favorite music or your podcasts or whatever. This does tend to work best if you have premium subscription to Spotify, but it does work if you have a free one as well. So with that being said, let's go ahead and just jump right in. Okay. So to get started, just like any setup with the uh, Alexa app, we're going to go ahead and open up your Alexa app. You'll want to have that downloaded. Links for that will be down in the description and it should be pretty similar whether you're on Android or iOS. Uh, the other thing is you're gonna need to have your Spotify login information. So we're gonna go to Smart Home, we're gonna go to the Alexa app, and the first thing that we're gonna do, go do is down here into the bottom right, we're gonna tap on where it says more, and then we're going to left click or tap on the settings option. Um, and then right here, we're gonna scroll all the way down until where you see under the Alexa preferences, you're gonna tap on where it says music and podcast. We're going to tap on that. And you can see all of the music services for your music and your podcast are listed under here. Obviously, if you've never set anything up before, you're going to have the Amazon music as your default services. We'll come back to that here in just a moment. The first thing that we're going to do is tap on where it says link new service. So we're going to tap on that. Then we're going to go ahead and tap on the Spotify option should take you to a section where you're going to in need to enable a skill and link your accounts in order for this to work. So we're gonna tap on where it says enable to use. And then from here, it should open up a browser where you need to log in with your information. I'm gonna go ahead and log in now and then we'll proceed. And once you've logged in, it's going to take you to this section right here where it's gonna go through some terms and conditions. You'll agree that Alexa will be able to do this. Uh, so if you're wanting to worry about any of that or if you want to read through any of that in case you're worried about it, go through and do that. Otherwise, scroll down to the bottom and you're going to tap where it says agree. From here, it's going to say your Spotify account has been successfully linked. Try saying whatever. We're just going to close this window and we're going to go to some of the default settings. We're going to tap on close. And it's actually going to say choose a default music service. So it's going to automatically kick us over to that, which is nice. We're going to say visit music settings. And we're gonna tap each one of these. We're gonna change it to the Spotify option. So everything has a Spotify and then we're gonna tap the back arrow in order to go back to the main screen. Once that's all done, you're ready to test it out and make sure that it works very well. One thing that I have noticed is it doesn't work on playlists. If you've created the playlist, it seems to have trouble trying to play that playlist, no matter what name you give it or anything like that. It will usually revert to playing some type of playlist that's already created by Spotify themselves. So if you have a nice Spotify playlist that was made by Spotify and you ask her to play that, it works very well, but it does not work very well with custom playlists, but it does work with songs and podcasts as well. So that's how you go in and connect your Alexa system to your Spotify account. So that's all there is to it. Hopefully by now you guys were able to use it, get it set up and have it play your favorite songs or your podcast. Like I said, this works best if you do have a premium subscription. Otherwise, it's going to play something very similar. If you're still having some issues, reach out down in the comments below. I'll be sure to answer those as soon as I can. And of course, while you're down there, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Those three things certainly help us grow our channel. And just for kicks, here are a couple of other videos in case you want to check those out. But on that note, thanks again for watching, and we will see you on the next one. Peace.